Problem 5. The taxi cab distance between points x1, y1, and x2, y2 in the coordinate plane is given by the following system. For how many points p with integer coordinates is the taxi cab distance between p and the origin less than or equal to 0, or less than or equal to 20? So we know, right, the, any arbitrary point is given by x1, y1. But we know what x2, y2 is. x2, y2 is 0, 0. So in this case, what, do we, what can we simplify this into? That's the same thing as x1 plus x plus y1 is less than or equal to 20. Now, these, this can be simplified rewritten into absolute value of x plus absolute value of y is less than or equal to 20. Let's graph out this graph, right? Because we have a graph, always graph it out. So we have a coordinate system, but how do we get the cases? Well, case 1 is x is larger than 0, y is larger than 0. Case 2 is x is larger than 0, y is less than 0. Case 3 is x is less than 0, y is larger than 0. And case 4 is x is less than 0, and y is less than 0. For this case, since x and y are both positive, this becomes x plus y is less than or equal to 20. In other words, y is less than or equal to negative x plus 20. Negative x plus 20 will be looking like something like this, right? And then we have this line that goes forever. That's 20, and that's 20. We also know for this second case, x is larger than 0, so it's positive x, but y is less than 0, so it's minus y is less than or equal to 20. Therefore, y must be larger than or equal to x minus 20. x minus 20 looks something like this, right? X or x minus 20, so it looks something like this, rather, right? And we know that this is negative 20. But then we also know from this case, x is negative, so negative x plus y is less than or equal to 20, so that means y must be less than or equal to x plus 20. x plus 20 looks something like this, right? And then this would be negative 20. So then just from suspicion alone, we can say that this line must look something like that. And that's how we get this graph. And the graph, right, would be in here. Because remember, it's less than equal to. So the shared region is this interior area. So basically, what we're trying to find here is how many integer points are within this area. Well, let's think of it logically, right? And let's zoom in into this part specifically. Because we have two um, congruent sides. So we can find the number of integers for the left side, then we can find the same for the right side. So what is it for the left side? Well, we know that this point here is negative 20, uh, negative 20 comma 0. But then this line right here is what? This line is y is equal to x plus 20, right? That's the line. So what is this point right here when we add x by 1? Because remember, they all have to be integers here. That's negative 19, comma 1. And what is this point? That's uh, negative 18, comma 2. And we see where this is going. This is going to go all the way until we have 20 uh, or 0, comma 20, right? x is steadily decreasing while y is steadily increasing. So how many points are there in relation to the bottom line? Well, it's symmetry, right? This is just negative 19 comma negative 1. This is symmetry again, negative 18 comma negative 2. And then this goes all the way on until we have what? We have 0 or negative 20. It's a bunch of symmetry, guys, because again, we have this symmetry shape looking here. So how many points are here? Well, we know if we draw out this axis, right? Y can only go up and down by 1. So if how do we get from 1 to negative 1? Well, obviously, there has to be a point right here. How do we get from 2 to negative 2? Well, there has to be 5 points, because 2 minus negative 2 plus 1 gives 5. So that there has to be 5 integer coordinates between this point. So it's 1, right, 2, 3. And indeed, we have 5 points. So we see where this is going. We have one point, then we have three points, then we have five points, then, or rather, we have one, two, three, yeah, we have five points, then how many points do we have from here to here? Well, that's just 20 minus negative 20, right, plus one. So that's equal to 41. So it's one plus three plus five plus all the way up to 41. That's the number of integer points that satisfy the given criteria for a taxi cab distance. But then again, remember, we have a symmetry on the other side. But how do we approach the symmetry here? Well, the symmetry is a bit tricky because you have to understand that it's going to be a little different, um, but not too different, right? Because we have 1 to 41, and we also know that we cannot re-add 41, right? Because if we re-add 41, then we count the y-axis twice. And what I mean by this is if I were to draw out this line, this is what I'm referring to as the y-distance. Oh, that's a terribly drawn line. Let me redraw a little bit better. This is the line I'm talking about. There's 41 points right, on this line, right, as we've seen from 0, 20 to 0, negative 20. So we cannot re-add it, because if we re-add this, then we overcount. So what do we do? 1 plus 3 plus 5, right, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus all the way up to 41 
gives what? Gives the number of points on the left side. But for the right side, right, we cannot include this line right here. That has to be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus all the way up to 41 minus 41. That would be our number of points for the right side. We add this with this, and we get our final answer. So how do we do that? Well, it's a arithmetic series, right? We have 1 plus 3 all the way to here. So what is that? Well, that is 1 plus 41 times something divided by 2. What is the nth term? Well, a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 times 2. So this is 2n minus 1, when n is equal to 1, and etc. So this has to equal 41, so that means 2n is equal to 42, so n is equal to 21. I have 21 terms right here. And then I have to add it with this. Well, 41 and 41 cancel, so in other words, I have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus all the way onto 39. How many, how was the sum of this series? Well, that is 1 plus 39 times something divided by 2. What is that something? Well, 2n minus 1 is equal to 39, so n must be equal to 20. If n is equal to 20, this goes here. And we, have, we are done. So we, if we put it here, that's 1 plus 39, right, times 20 divided by 2. So we can combine the fractions with likewise denominator of 2, and this would be equal to 42 times 21 plus 40 times 20. Now the 2, right, can simplify. This is 21, and this will give 20. So what is 21 times 21? Well, 21, 21, 21, 42, 4, 4, 1. 441 plus 400 gives 841. So 841 is our final answer, and that choice is answer choice C.